guys, it's Alexa Victoria. I know Hi. our heads aren't showing, but for the sake of the video, we're actually gonna be like this the whole time. So today, I recently went to the, actually, um, I ordered popping cooking, and it came in, so I thought I might as well try it out and film it. So, um, Alexis has, I am doing a waffle one, and, and you know, it, seems interesting and these are both of these are no bake so these are going to be very interesting waffles and mine is a donut one so yeah so on the back we see they're all in english which is awesome <laughs> so we're basically just going to start with that it has a tab right here that says open so i'm going to be opening it on the, from the back pretty much so this is the first thing you see and in the directions, it did say to use your packaging as like a plate. So I guess that's what's gonna be happening. Then we're just gonna open it up, but I guess my tray is gonna be a little bit ruined. So I don't know how. Oh, cut it. Yeah, you were supposed to cut it. Y'all, can you go get scissors, Lexus? It's too late, I already broke mine. All right, I'm gonna go get scissors. Don't go. Okay. Um, yeah, so on the directions, it says you can use your packaging for, like, a plate. So that's going to be fun. So I'm going to cut this top off. Okay, so the first thing you see, you look inside, and it's this little tray, which actually I love how everything's already just in the tray. And the first thing it says right here is your first thing is some of your ingredients. So, don't know what colors. So, you have this is our cocoa dough powder. This is our custard dough powder. This is custard, and this is chocolate. Um, we have sprinkles. We have strawberry sauce. 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 Chocolate sauce. Vanilla sauce, and we have crumbs. They're known as crumbs. And we have a little, little piping bag, uh, a spoon, and that's, oh, and you have your molds for your donuts, and that's what I have. So for me, I have a cream dough powder. I have a cocoa dough powder. I have a, another cream dough powder. I have watermelon cream powder. I have cranberry jelly powder, and then I have blueberry salt powder. I have sprinkles, I have a bag, and I have this really cute and tiny spoon, and then I have the tray molds. So according to mine, the first step I need to do is add a cup, add a full triangle cup of water. But, so I don't, I'm, I'm very confused. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be this triangle in the corner, but like I said, I'm not sure. I'm literally winging this. So I'm going to add a cup of water to the tray and then add the powder from the yellow packet. There's two. Okay, it doesn't matter. They're both the same. So then I'm going to add this into the packet, and then it says mix until thick. So I guess that's my first step. My first step actually is actually the biggest one, which is to make the dough. Basically, I'm gonna fill the round depression with water. The round depression with water. Oh, the one with the musical note. Oh, musical, oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna fill this little orange thingy, the, the, not orange, this little round one with, with water and then add my powder from the yellow packet by pressing down with the black of the spoon until it's thick. Use your hands to knead the dough. Divide dough into two equal parts and round each ball. Place them onto the packing pouch. Where's the packing pouch? I would like to say you are supposed to cut the side measuring tray off because for me it says to put it into the clover tray. Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys, this is a little confusing. Kind of, not really, but. And I'm gonna take water and fill it to here and make oh my, my gosh. dough. Oops. I actually I have two kinds of dough. I have a chocolate and then I'll have um, a cut like the regular kind. 
I'm actually, I'm gonna do both because I love chocolate donuts too. Okay, so then I'm going to add my yellow powder. And the yellow powder is a cream dough powder. So this is very exciting. Oh. You literally spilled it out. Yes, I did. So now I'm gonna clean that up. Um, you know what I'm noticing is there's a lot of powder and not a lot of water. But um, let's just hope for the best. And there is not a lot of mixing space. Look at this. I only have a little bit. I know it looks kind of big on camera, but in person, it's not very big. Next, I'm going to make my... This It's known as... Oh, so this is my custard dough powder, and I'm going to put this in here. And then I will do that again with my chocolate dough powder. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm like not even kidding though. So we were a little sketched out by this because in the beginning, um, this hasn't been. Oh my god, smell it! It smells so good. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it still smells really good. But this is a, it's a. I mean, this is one of those like sketchy kind of brands. Um, like you don't know if it works until you try it out. Yeah. So we're literally doing this with you guys. We haven't done this off camera, so we don't really know what's happening either. So this is my dough. I think it says to mix until thick. That looks pretty darn thick, and then I'm supposed to knead it, so I'm going to knead it. I don't have very much water, honestly. <laughs> it's like this jiggly slime. That's a little frightening to me. That's a little frightening. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so then it says to mix until thick, knead the dough, and then shape it into a ball. Okay, so I'm kneading the dough. I think I need more water. Nope, you can't add any more water. What? No, I can add more water. Uh. Okay, so mix until thick, knead the dough, and shape into a ball. Put the dough ball between the waffle mold. Crest the mold and pinch it. Wait, what? How am I supposed to... Crest the mold. How am I supposed to cut it? Cut it? Okay, we're going to... I think I'm going to take apart this whole thing. Because honestly, it's not being very smart. It shows this being cut out. So I'm going to just cut out everything. So, um, if I'm doing something wrong, which I most likely am, yo, that was weird. Okay. Ah! There are these little crevice lines between each, like, individual little tray. So I'm just going to cut on those lines. And hopefully I'm supposed to be doing this. Okay, so here's my musical note tray. And then I'm going to figure out a way to cut out the waffle mold. So, what's happening over there with you, Victoria? I am still working on this. So, guys, right here, as you can see, I'm still working on my dough. I really feel like I need water, but I'm going to keep kneading. And, yeah, I'm just still kneading. Because, <laughs> honestly, this is, like, it's actually really fun. Because what's going on right now with this whole, like, virus is you need stuff to do. And I feel like these kits that you can buy are super, like, they take a lot of time because you want to get them right. And... I like there's so much fun, too. Oh, okay, whoops. Ah, that was not supposed to happen. We're not, we're not going to lie to you guys. This is a little confusing. We're struggling. Okay, so I cut out my mold. I don't even know if I'm supposed to do this, but why not? So then it I says, need more water. It says, to, yeah, so then I have this into a ball. And then it says to put the dough ball between the waffle mold and crest the mold and pinch it into the mold. So, yeah, I'm going to put it in the center, and then I'm going to crest the mold. Oh gosh, I push it down? Yeah, okay, this is what I'm doing. I don't know, what am I supposed to do with this now? So this is my waffle, I guess. I don't know, Bob. It's, this isn't a bad waffle. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my plate. And then it says to repeat steps with the powder from the second yellow and, yellow and brown packet. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with these two packets now. So, um, wish me luck. I'm going to be doing this for a while. And then I am still kneading, but actually I am super glad that I added water because it's helping a lot by doing this because I can, oh gosh, I mean, I hope, I hope it's okay, helping Okay, we a lot. need like something else. This is a little annoying. I'll use my tiny spoon and scoop that water. Every time I pour, okay, this is okay. Every time I pour this, it just gets everywhere. Oh gosh, this is going great, guys, okay? But honestly, these kits are really fun, and I would totally recommend buying them. They're not too, too expensive for what you're getting. Literally, these kits were $4.99. So, I mean, hey, for some waffle and donuts, 
I guess you're getting some good bang for your buck. Alrighty, so I have my dough right here. I mean, it's not the best dough, but I mean, it's dough, so. Oh my god, it smells so good. <coughs> um, next, I mix it and then. What is the packing pouch? <coughs> oh my gosh, okay. So I am just gonna keep on doing this and then I will keep you guys updated, but this is going to be me for a little bit. What is the packing pouch? I'm so confusion. I think we should cut this part. We're not going to cut it. Okay, so guys, um, this is my dough. It's honestly, it's not bad. Just It's kind of a little rubbery. Um, what is the packing pouch? Pouch. Oh, is this a hockey pouch? The packing pouch. Oh, is this the packing pouch? Is this the packing pouch? I have no clue, to be honest. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so I did this step. Now I'm at this is the packing pouch. Then I'm gonna have to do the kneading part. So let's just knead my dough. But this is the dough, and it's like this rubbery. It's not okay. Yeah, it's a little rubbery, and I don't. I'm a little skeptical to eat this. I don't want to get sick. Um, this isn't FDA I don't, approved, so um, yeah. But honestly, I don't think this will make. Like, if you eat this, I don't think it will make you that sick. Well, I think if you're gonna get sick from this, I don't think it will be quite good. It's okay. You might get sick from this, but it's not going to be that bad. Okay, so now... Oh my god, am I allergic to this or something? <coughs> Guys, I'm literally dying. Yeah, okay, I'm good. So next, I'm working on my chocolate one, which is chocolate I'm so excited for. Because honestly, I love chocolate. Anything chocolate, I'll be there. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I got my own water. I got a huge cup of it too. Okay, so I'm also starting my chocolate dough. Oh, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to cut this out. Hang on. Yeah, it said in the beginning direction. I just, I'm sorry, I wasn't reading the beginning. Okay, so this is my chocolate dough. Once again, we have good old Mr. Spoonie. Mr. Spoonie has a bunch of water and dough. Okay, this is a little bit of an awkward tutorial. I'm not gonna lie. This is a little awkward. But this is a tutorial? Oh crap. <laughs> we're trying to help you guys, but we're not very we're not a ton of help. Um it's this is this is time consuming. We started this at 1030 and it's eleven. Wait, how long has this video? It's been 13 minutes now. But yeah, this is kind of time consuming. So never mind, I skipped a step. You're supposed to cut apart everything. So I'm gonna keep the rest of my ingredients over here because right now I'm using this one for my dough. So next I'm working on my chocolate one, which I already told you guys, I'm so excited for that one. <laughs> and yeah, basically you're just doing the same thing. Like you're just kneading them again. So this is my dough. Now I'm using my spoon. Oh, where's my spoon? I'm so worried these are gonna taste bad. I or will make me sick. I don't think they will. Hey, worst case scenario, we'll keep you guys updated. If these do make us sick, we'll let you know. <laughs> so we don't want you to waste your money on something that will like make you have food poisoning. Yep. So we're trying this out that way. Sometimes maybe you don't have to try this out. Oh my god, this looks so... This is my my chocolate waffle. As you guys can see in the corner, I've just been putting my waffles. Okay, I did my waffles. Now we're making cranberries. I don't... How are we supposed to make cranberries? Okay, add a triangle cup of water to the musical note tray. Okay, we're done with this tray. This is my musical note tray. 
Uh, oh, stop knocking over. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to add a triangle of water. This is only like three quarters. I'm going to add a little bit more. And I'm in the kneading process of making my chocolate dough, which looks kind of grainy right now, but... Okay, so I added a triangle of water. Add the powder from the red packet. So this is my red packet. Mix until it starts to get syrupy. Use a spoon to fill the berry molds with the mixture. Leave some of the mixture in the musical tray. It will become firm in 10 minutes. Okay, so I guess these are our molds. Those are your berry molds. We're literally making jelly berries. Uh, this is a little skeptical. I think everything is skeptical though. So I'm actually gonna finish cutting this out because I didn't really cut this out that well. So there's a, just a lot of annoying corners. Okay, cool, I did that. So I'm going to put my, it's, it's supposed to get syrupy. That's what the direction, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh wow, that's cool. Okay, you guys can't see this. I'll show you guys in a second. I'll show you guys in a second. Okay, so I just pour my powder in, and <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my, my God. dough is coming along. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, is this syrupy? I don't know what. Does anyone know what syrupy? Oh, I can smell it from here. It smells so good. <laughs> is this syrupy? Is it, guys? Is this syrupy? I don't know, it looks more like liquidy. Okay, we're just gonna put it in the molds. And then it'll say, it says it'll harden in 10 minutes. Safe to wait 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, I put too much, oh no. Wow. All right, now I'm kneading with my hand with my chocolate dough, which I think the chocolate dough, the dough went better than my custard dough, my regular. And then basically doing the same thing, Here and you're putting them into two tiny balls and placing them on your tray. Wait, what do I do with the extra? I mean, you're not supposed to have extra. How much extra do you have? It says to leave the extra in here. It'll become firm. Okay. So I'm going to clean up during this 10 minutes. Um, and then I think we're both going to kind of see you guys in a bit. We're going to clean up. Okay. So... Boom! So we just cleaned up. As you can see, um, everything's a lot way cleaner. Oh, yeah. So this is my balls right now. Um, they're, s <laughs> they're sitting. <laughs> and um, basically, I'm going to be making these into my molds now. That is next on... Hang on. The next step for me is to make watermelon cream. So I'm extremely excited for this. So the watermelon cream, it came in this green package. And watermelon cream, it sounds as weird as you think. It's a pretty weird thing. But um, I'm not too worried. I'm actually going to wash my tin out because I used it for the chocolate and vanilla waffles. And right now, I'm working on my molds. So I'm working on my donut mold, which I'm struggling right now. So this is my first donut I'm making. And then I'm just to press it in and remove them. Pop them out super easily, guys. Super easily. All right, so this is my first donut. It looks pretty good, not gonna lie, for the first time. I'm actually gonna do these ones the exact same, and then my little flowery one, I'm gonna do the chocolate one. Okay, so I'm back, I cleaned out this, so I'm ready to make my watermelon cream. Yeah, so it says to add two full cups of water, so, okay, to the tray and add powder from the packet. That's all it says. 
so I guess I'm gonna do that. So I'll just add two of these, and it's really annoying to fill these up, like really annoying. But just like you, scoop it in, just like I don't, I don't, I do that. I don't want that. This is my second donut in the mold. And this is my second donut, donut done. Okay, now my chocolate ones. My chocolate ones, I'm going to be doing one, so I'm going to do one of this one and one of that one for my chocolate, just to mix things up a bit. Okay, so then it says to add my watermelon cream powder in here. So I'm going to be doing that. And you guys should totally stick around for the taste testing of this to see um, if we're even still alive. <laughs> We're a little kind of nervous to taste these um, because everything's going on. We don't want to be sick right now, but we are kind of excited too. So you should totally stick around for the end and see what happens. Okay, so my next step is to, I guess this is my chocolate donut. So I have to like literally hit these to get out. But it's like plastic so it keeps like, it doesn't like, ah, uh, it's so difficult. Oh, okay, got my flower one. My, it's not bad, it's not bad. Um, next I'm making my vanilla sauce. So I'm for the vanilla sauce, I'm adding it into my heart one, which is this one right here. I don't know if you can barely see that heart, but that's the one I'm using to make my vanilla sauce. So it says add the powder into your heart one. Okay, while she's figuring that out, I'm gonna tell you guys, this stuff is so freaky. So if this is like cream, like you fill a donut with, which I guess is what they were going for. But this, it, it's, this is creepy, this is very creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so then it says, to, it doesn't say what to do with it next. I guess I'm just gonna leave this in here. I'll just leave this in here because it doesn't say what to do with it. So you guys can just look at the picture. It helps me when you look at the picture. That literally is doing what I'm doing. <laughs> just leaving it in there. Okay, the next thing is the blueberry sauce. Yay! Okay, so, oh no, th these have to be done. It's been 10 minutes, right? No, it hasn't. Oh no. Next, I'm adding it a tr one triangle of water. It's like a pain to out. And I am pouring it in here. And then I mix well. Oh my gosh. Guys, I Whoa, just made guys. it. Okay, so it, it said that it was okay to pull it out now. This is my cranberry jelly. This is very freaky. I'm just gonna leave that there. Mm, very weird. Okay, so there we go. I popped it out. I guess it's good. So then it says to add to one of this, one of the good old handy dandy triangles of water. So I'm going to do that. Okay, the next step is to. Um, Guys, honestly, I'm just going for the boxes. So whatever the box says for me to do, I'm doing it because I'm trying to make it look exactly like the box so I don't mess this up. Okay, this is where things get a little complicated. So it says to add... Sorry, she keeps on stealing scissors. <laughs> Comment down below if you have someone who steals the scissors in your house. <laughs> anyway, and she's making her what is that, blueberry? blueberry sauce. You're actually excited to try that one, though. Yeah, the watermelon cream is going to be something. There are just so many components. This is weird. This is weird. I don't know if I like this. With my vanilla sauce. I thought mine isn't that, like, cray cray. Yours is more, like, skeptical. Mine's very skeptical. We have watermelon cream. We have a cranberry... What even is this? Jelly? Gummy? Can I have to pipe this on? 
I don't know, but this, okay, so then it says to mix. Fold down the top of the squeezing bag. Whoa, and I'm lost. What's the squeezing bag? I didn't get, okay. This is probably the squeezing bag. The pop and pink squeezing bag. Okay, so, actually, is it squeezing bag? Why doesn't it ever say what each item is? Oh my gosh. It doesn't, okay, squeezing bag. What is a squeezing bag? Does anybody know what that, okay, hold on. Can you guys comment down below what a squeezing bag is? Okay. Fold down the top of the squeeze. Okay. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just doing. Ah! I'm doing this exactly like the box. Fold so down. I'm supposed to drizzle this one. This one gets a nice drizzle. Hang on. Oh gosh. This is so gosh. I'm just gonna not follow the directions and just put it in here because that's literally what it's saying. But it's doing it in a very complicated way. All right, guys. I'm putting it on. This is going. I need something more thicker. Like something I can like smooth this out with. Can I just put my crumbs on this one? I'm not supposed to, but like I'm just following what the picture says. And then throughout this, me and Victoria haven't tasted any of this, so we we haven't even taken even little like little licks. Unless Victoria, have you? No. So we are literally gonna be surprised when we eat this because we don't even know what this, this is even gonna. If this blueberry sauce is even gonna taste like blueberry sauce. I don't know. Alrighty, so this is my first one iced. It's not bad. It's just a little messy. And then it says to. Oh, someone's at the door. Can you go check the door? Okay, so then it says to. Ice it. Actually, it doesn't. It just says, chop off a corner, cut the jelly, and okay, cut up the jelly and decorate your waffles. I'd be like, that the printer? Yeah. Okay. So then it says this jelly that was really confusing. I'm supposed to use scissors and cut it up, but I don't want to do that. So we can just have this as a bonus to eat it, and then we can use these jellies. So now it's the decorating pot time. So, there are so many decorating elements that I have. I have these jellies, I have sprinkles, I have a lot. Ow. I, I wasn't sure, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have told you it was the printer. Okay, so, guys, I'm currently icing with my vanilla sauce, and it's going pretty well, actually. It's not going that far. I'm actually popping out all these jellies that I made. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do is to just decorate them. So I'm going to have one as like a fun one. So I'm going to use, like, let's do one with a cream. Let's do some cream on one. So you're going to try all of them. Green. So at the very end, we're going to try all of our items. So she made three waffles, and she's going to have to eat three waffles. No, take a bite of at least three of them. I won't make you eat. Okay, so this is my watermelon cream. And then we can do this with a few cranberry thingies on top. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use my, let's go ahead and use this um, blueberry sauce because I'm excited for this. I guess we're just- Oh jeez, no! No, 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 no! We're supposed to ice it on there smoothly and calm. Okay, I did my ice, fixed it. So I'm also gonna ice it on this one because why not? Okay, so then I have so many decorating elements. Oh my gosh. I have some sprinkles. So we're gonna add some sprinkles. Is that it? Oh, you sprinkles too. I was about to say, I'll give you my sprinkles. If you didn't have any sprinkles, because like donuts need sprinkles. That's just an essential, guys. Everybody knows this. Okay, so we're gonna put some sprinkles on this one. Woo, some sprinkles, 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 sprinkles. And then we're gonna put some cranberries. Oh my gosh, I'm not. Okay, yes, I'm gonna eat this. Um, I have so much watermelon cream, it's not even funny. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Okay, so then I'm just gonna like drizzle this stuff over the entire thing. Because I guess you're supposed to, like, decorate your plate with it and, like, dump your watermelon cream on the side. This is just what the picture shows. 
So, I'm just gonna do so, and I'm just gonna dump my cream on the side and hope this is normal. Because I don't know, I'm not gonna eat this much watermelon cream, whatever. What even is watermelon cream? Is it icing? I, I don't know. Okay, so it's then cream. I'm gonna put my weird cube and I'm gonna do a cream thing right there. Alrighty, uh, now I'm just going back for like touch ups to make, like, because I have extra vanilla icing. I have some blueberry. I'll do a dot of blueberry. There we go. <laughs> blueberry. Okay, so I'm done. We're going to see you guys and clean up one. I'll, I'm oh, not done. She's not anything. done. My bad. Continue. I'm sorry. I'd like to take my sweet time, guys. So basically, right now, I am icing everything and just getting it like very. You forgot like, to make your chocolate. Sauce. And my crumbs, and yeah, I know, I know. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this step by step. I'm, do, I'm taking my time. Okay. All right. So that's it with my vanilla icing. Now I'm going to be making my strawberry sauce. Basically, strawberry icing. And for that one, I'm going to be putting in the triangle one, doing the water, and that's what I'm doing next. So we're going to get back to you guys when she... Oh, and have the chocolate, and my... So, and my chocolate. <laughs> when she has all of her sauces made and her crumbs made, we are going to come back to you. So see you guys in however long when we see you guys. Okay, so we did... We Okay, we decorated our donuts, and now we're going to be tasting them. So let's start... I'm going to go ahead and start with my jelly. And Victoria is going to start with her crumbs and sprinkles. So I'm going to go ahead, let's take my jelly. We're going to do a zoom up, guys. We're showing our faces. Oh, this is the camera soft centered. Okay, got it. Okay, how do you feel about your jelly? Um, you know, it's, um, You know, like, those gummies you could take for, like, medicine? Or, like, melatonin? It tastes like that. Okay. So, next, I'm going to be trying my sprinkles, and then and then she's going to try her watermelon after me. So, let me... I'm sorry, I have to angle this back. Uh, okay. So, my sprinkles... I'll just grab this lovely sprinkle. Okay. So, here's my sprinkle. As you can see... Hang on. There's my sprinkle right there and yeah I'm just gonna taste my sprinkle tastes like a sprinkle yay okay, okay, okay so I'm trying my watermelon cream no mm -mm. I'm gonna try, also I'm gonna try really quick my blueberry sauce. I have such high hope for this because I love like blueberry sauce with like lemon sauce. Oh. The blueberry sauce isn't bad. Now it's time. No, okay, now I'm gonna try my crumbs. So here's a crumb. As you can see right there, my crumb. And the crumb. It tastes like a wafer. Like if you had a wafer, that's what the crumb would be like. Um, next is our actual thing. Our so actual thing. We're gonna try our chocolate item. So she has a chocolate donut. I have a chocolate waffle. So we're wait, 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 I gotta figure out which one we're gonna try. Uh, this is what you said. No, I don't want that. Oh gosh, okay, so guys, I may have put it a little too much crumbs on it. So look, let me just show you. So I went through what the box did, and as you can see, that one where there's crumbs on the outside, this is my interpretation of that. Yep, that's mine. So these are our treats that we're gonna be trying. So yeah, let's just... Ah! Uh, let's try it, just, just go. Oh. Uh, Grab me a napkin. <laughs> oh, 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 I cannot finish it. <coughs> That's bad. Like, <coughs> no. It looks like, um, do you 
you know the, uh, what's it called? The, the like, terrible jelly beans, um, like the wrong flavor jelly beans, and it just tastes like that, like, just like the really bad one. Um, we still have to try our regular one. <coughs> I rinse off my face. Should we so, try the regular one? No. I think you guys get the point. Yes, these were very fun to make. I'm not going to lie. They were fun to make. They don't taste good. So maybe, like, give this to, like, your enemy, you know. Or maybe oh, try so doing bad. the ones that don't require anything that's supposed to taste like a bread. So I recommend there is a ice cream one. I recommend maybe trying that one or trying one that doesn't have something that's so, like, so different. And... As you can see, Alexa is still in the corner. Spinning. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know we've posted in a very long time, so I'm going to get this edited and give this to you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you know when we do these crazy videos. Alrighty, bye. 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 I'm so sorry, I guys. After we, after we said goodbye, um, I, we almost forgot something. During this time, if you... Dur during... What's that scene? Speaking of the dancing queen. Oh. So as I was saying, guys, I'm not keeping this over. So oh. as I was saying, was if you need help during this time or you need some way. So um, basically, what we're saying is, during the fun and games, please stay home. Don't go out. Just only go out when you need to. Like if you need to go to the grocery store. Social distancing, people. Seriously, we can help flatten the curve. It, all it takes you to just stay home. Just stay home. Wash your hands, face, 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 face,